Royal Request stands in well. Terry Trossel, three winners. There's the light. That's what we want to see. Set and a racing. It was a patchy start. Zaspi didn't get a great uh, jump out of the gate. He seemed to knuckle, but he picked himself up quickly. Backslap was the one who got out fast to uh, lead him in the early stages. So Vig is going to take Backslap out to the lead over Zar Speed. Adato got up to a quick third, and then Emily fourth, a little bit wider on the track. Over on the inside, Stanley, Electric Crimson. Royal Request is out deep tracking, but has cover there. I'd reckon Emily's out a bit deep. Reby, the Reds back second last. And Lake Jackson, the last one. So it was a patchy start, but Backslap gets it to suit here for Viger. He took a peek over the shoulder inside the seven, and he shows out a length in front of Embley. Zarspeed third. Fourth, then Adato the outside. Royal Request is working through the gears. He's coming into it, the big fella. A length and a half back then to Stanley, being pushed along from Ruby the Red, Electric Crimson, and Lake Jackson, the last one. So Backslap runs inside the four, travels well, shows out two in front of Embley. Adato's coming into it three wide. Four wide is Royal Request. Zarspeed not going on with it at the moment moment and then Stanley late but Viga sits down and goes for home and backslap baby runs inside the two about three in front trying to get out after it Embley Adato trying to make late ground and nothing else a chance by Stanley Royal Request but backslap he'll go down to score good little sprinter wins it by three and a half on the line second Embley just in front of Adato tight the four Stanley maybe just in front of Lake Jackson a gap in the field then to Reby the Red Royal Request Zar Speed second last Electric Crimson last and it just may pay to hold all tickets regarding the start there, but take nothing away from the winner. Backslap takes out the tab. Rowan, Gold Cup. Stand by number eight, Backslap. Well, he certainly uh, comes off that solid Alice Springs form. I mean, Piney Sprint ran fourth and was racing well. Uh, won a race here back in February. A couple of runs in Alice Springs in the carnival, a couple of fourths in sprint grade and today Viger found the front and he just dictated to a nicety had a good kick on the turn I think punters were pretty happy with themselves inside the 200 metre mark I was and uh, it's gone on to scoring in good style two and a half by a half neck the margin had support late in betting and number eight backslap for Ray Viger first now second goes to five Embley that was a nice run first up Kerry Petrick she'll be tickled pink I'd reckon with that performance Stuck to the task well. Third goes to nine, Adato, another one who battled away well. Fourth to two, Stanley, closed off late. And fifth went to four, Lake Jackson. A couple of them were really ordinary out of the gate, so I'm not sure it was a really patchy start. There may be nothing there regarding the start, but it just may pay to hold all tickets concerning it because uh, it was a pretty ordinary one. Number eight, backslap, though, a six-year-old chestnut gelding. Congrats, satiric, owned by Lindsay Smith. Kathleen Harry's in the ownership with Desi Daniel, the uh, Wyndham legend. Uh, B.J. Brad Fitzpatrick, Mrs. P.A. Fitzpatrick, L.C. Moll, Mrs. K. Pike, um, B.J. and Tia Clohesi, another feature win there, Mrs. M.G. Halter, T.W. Halter, Alan Clohesi, Mrs. J.C. Bronston, uh, Tayan Holder, uh, G. Fitzgibbon and S. Fitzgibbon, trained by Tayan Holder, who's had a great year, and Ray the Tiger Viger brings back the winner, backslap number eight. Recording win 11 this afternoon from 35 starts and prize money up over the $160,000 mark. And uh, Ray Viger in good form. He's got a nice uh, book of rides going forward into the carnival and expect him to do well. Now second goes to five, Embley, a seven-year-old bay gilding, high chaparral, dashing eagle. Kerry Patrick, Paul Denton will improve off that. Nine, Adato, a five-year-old bay gilding, sufficient, brindle moose. For Michael Hinkmont, Nathan Day had a fair day and fourth went to two, Stanley. Fifth to number four. And